Hey guys, Tyler2k here. Uh, I was watching this earlier and I decided rather than just simply watch it and then kind of just be like, oh, whatever, uh, sort of thing, uh, I had realized that it's probably better to live watch this and or uh, go over it just to see what's going on. So um, I've only seen part of this once uh, and it was actually the Raven video or area specifically uh, where some interesting stuff happened. And like I said, I'm not really one to do reaction content, but I had figured rather than uh, letting this video go by the wayside because this is like direct feed footage and it can go up to like 4K. Uh, I only have a 1440p monitor, so I'm not going to watch it in 4K. But it's like, okay, well, we'll watch the direct feed uh, cause, and go over it. And I, like I said, I don't want to do like a, a reaction. I won't say the word reaction on the post, uh, but we'll do like a live watch of this and kind of go over it. Uh, because, yeah, we see Asusena. We see uh, Raven. We see a, a lot of characters we haven't seen uh, so far. I don't think we have Fang, but I don't know for a fact. But yeah, this video came out today. And I was like, like I said, I was like, okay, well, rather than just watch it and kind of obsess over it, it's probably better just to kind of take it slow and break it down. Okay, so, like, big opener right away. Like, the immediate transition into, uh, Lieb stance. So, translates right into Lieb. And looks like from Lieb, she can form Lieb 4, uh, which is a power crush attack. So, Lieb 4 is probably an answer for the fact that she can't block in mid. And that's one thing uh, I noticed during the video. Now, granted, it's possible the Asusena player wasn't very good, uh, but it, from what you'll see later, it, they do appear to know what they're doing. So uh, I don't know who is playing. This is, once again, directly from Namco themselves. Uh, this is the TGS footage, show like a uh, Tokyo Game Show. But yeah, so whoever is playing them, like playing uh, Susanna and playing Raven, you'll see Lily. Lily sidestepping a lot. Uh, so this Lily, uh, clearly high-level player. So they, they both know how to play. So you'll see that the yeah, Leap Stance doesn't uh, seem to have the uh, ability to block, like similar to like Negan. So that means that Leap 4 uh, must be kind of similar to Negan. Int 1 plus 2 uh, is her Power Crush option. Of course... It here, Leap 4 just causes knockdown for guaranteed follow-up. Uh, from the position that Lily is left in, uh, you cannot hit him with a Rage Shrive, uh, so you just get an unscaled hit instead. Uh, here, it looks like Asu Center performs what I believe to be up back 4, uh, or up forward 4. Uh, we don't know for a fact quite yet. Okay, Manuel entered the Leap, and we see Leap 2. Okay, and actually this is something we uh, I had mentioned in the other video is that uh, we don't quite know if Leap 2 is a launcher. Uh, from here, because this is a counter hit spark, in case you don't know, uh, this is counter hit Leap 2. Uh, and then forward 3. So into a down 3-4 variation. Uh, if I remember correctly from the Asusena breakdown, I'll go. I'll give a shout out top right corner for that. Um, she does have a down 3-3, three, three, I think it was, uh, follow up, unless it, it was down 3-4. So maybe this is... A remnant of uh, Katarina, her jab, or sorry, her kick string, where she has the down 3-3, three, three, which is the mid-cancel, and then down 3-4, which is a high version of it. So down 3-4, giving us the splat here is pretty clean. Okay, into a three-hit combo. Uh, it looks like the overhead completely missed. Okay, no duck on the wall stand, 1-2. Uh, we see this uh, down back 3, I believe it is, into her back sway stance. So essentially a free attempt on the attack, causing evasion. Also, it looks like the animation is slightly different. She does like this kind of Looney Tunes <laughs> looking animation. So it's very interesting. There definitely have been changes. Okay, so there we see uh, transition into Leap Stance, getting clipped by down four, three plus four. Okay, up four, uh, sorry, up three, uh, Lily uh, completely misses that suspend attack. Okay, so down three, we have the Lily full step, down four, two, four, two, three, down four, three plus four, BT one, four, 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 three, cancel. One jab into a 3-1 for ground break. Oh, yeah, so uh, this is it. kind of interesting is that, uh, you know, there are a lot of lot of attacks in this combo, but, like, post um, balcony break, it looks like there's way more pushback. Like, look at the distance on the single one jab uh, that leaves Asu Senna, like, super far away. If you were to compare this to, like, T7, I'm inclined to believe maybe about right here they'd be left. Or uh, probably a little closer to where half our Senna is, but still, it's crazy. Okay, so QCF 3 plus 4 no longer has the homing 
uh, properties. Uh, that's one of the really noteworthy things we had seen with the uh, Fang trailer, even though I haven't started working on it yet. Uh, we don't see like uh, some proper Fang properties, and it looks like he's going to be more of a brawler and less of an answer. So, a okay, big whiff, good punish, back churn, 423, probably going downstairs. Okay. Oh, interesting. 4 for 3, 3 plus 4. So, in Tekken 8, uh, wall breaks and balcony breaks, and or balcony breaks is not a good example, but wall breaks um, tend to have uh, or require multiple hits. So this 4, 4, 3, 3 plus 4 would probably break the ground in Tekken 7. So uh, evidently the ground break here maybe requires multiple hits. Uh, when I was watching this, I was thinking, uh, well, maybe it's that uh, if you look at the center of the stage, and we'll see it probably in a second here, it, where there's like this, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a seal in like the dead center of the stage. You're like, okay, well, maybe uh, you have to break the seal. And like, you know, you can only ground break here. Uh, very similar to the, uh, there's a stage in uh, Tekken Tag 2 the, with the, uh, the Maui heads, uh, the Moi heads. So I was thinking, oh, maybe it's like that. But we see later uh, that that's not the case. Uh, she's going to break the ground like way over there. Oh, I think this is the one where we see the UFO as well. Okay, yeah, there, UFO in the top left. Um, probably just a general Easter egg, but who knows? And there you can see it also in the corner too. Okay, so yeah, it, this looks like, if I was to take a guess, like a forward four or three. Although that might have been a forward forward input, I don't know for a fact. High option, uh, so you can duck it of course. Um, very similar to Leroy, uh, forward 4-4, four, four, uh, Dragunov back 4-3. NC option, of course, the nice thing uh, with Asusena here performing the forward 4 or 4-4-4 four four four, uh, is that it's a homing attack. We see the spark, so that's nice. At least she has that. Maybe, who knows, maybe Leroy 4-4-4 four, four, four is has been buffed and we just don't know it yet. I'm not really uh, <laughs> going to say that's the case, but who knows. Okay, we see the, the running option. Okay, interesting. So the the up three plus four, or whatever the input may be, hits, but it hits behind. We see the, the counter hit spark uh, didn't transition. Oh, okay, so now BT2 is also a homing attack. Okay, so we see, so yeah, whoever, like I said, is playing this, uh, both these characters know how, to pl know how to play. So because Asusena is face down, Asusena here performs a wall stand attack. Wall stand for one which leads to kissy kissy, I call the stance. Interesting. So that means if you try to duck the wall stand 4-1, your wall stand punish will probably miss. That doesn't seem very fair. Uh, just saying. Okay, so uh, because the 4-4-3 is a heat engager, Asusana is in heat mode. We see the um, leap stance, uh, heat leap stance, causing knockdown. No combo, small combo only, so that's good to see confirmation there. Transitions. Okay, so interestingly enough, she she does the leap stance uh, low reversal launcher, but evidently this isn't an auto attack. This is just an actual attack because if you look at the heat meter when she does these attacks, so special leap entrance causes meter, although notice how she regens meter because she successfully reverses incoming. So it's here and then it's up here. Interesting, interesting. Okay, knock down, and then we'll see it again. She'll do special Lieb run into Lieb low. Look at all the meter it's used. And then she gets hit. Okay, are we going downstairs now? Oh no, okay, missed. Oh, okay, heat smash right out, taking the plus frames. Okay, so she's in Lieb stance. She can hold forward just like um, Intimidation stance. Okay, and then she hit the knockdown against the side. Hmm, so I wonder what the difference between that leap two and the other leap two. Maybe the other leap two was like the big uppercuts probably down forward two, maybe? That might be what's going on. Okay, wheel kick, leap stance, entrance. Uh, it looked like she tried canceling the stance, but uh, again, she gets clipped by high. Or uh, uh, mid, sorry. Yeah, so it looks like she had stopped it, but maybe, maybe visually she hadn't. Or maybe we just don't see the frame uh, where the Asu Center player ducks. M maybe, it's hard to say. Okay, wall stand, Q pickup, nice. Okay, BT1 plus 2 going downstairs. 
a heat burst. Oh, so yeah, they actually, um, this is a, a CNT to CBT change. Uh, they nerfed um, heat engager, or sorry, heat dash. So now you have to be like very, um, you have to know what structures actually work. Uh, I, I'm kind of in between on the stat so far. Um, it's hard to say if it is a, a nice little buff between the two, uh, or if it's like too much of a nerf, but in CNT specifically, like heat engagers were a little bit too crazy. So yeah, I, I don't know, but yeah, they, they nerfed it. So heat dashes require certain conditions specifically to be met. So this just simply has too many hits in it. And you see like the massive pushback mid combo, uh, despite the fact like what, what was the initiation on the hit? Okay, so two hits, but 100% scaled. Okay, second hit, wall send two, BT one four. Okay, so there, there's like seven hits, or like this is eighth hit, and then nine, and then the, the one miss, interestingly enough, which makes me wonder if Claudio back four two will also miss in that situation. Oh, look at that. The immediate uh, counter hit high. Wow, that's so fast. Or that's four two, that's the power crush. That's really fast, wow. So may maybe kind of similar to Josie, where uh, Asusena is kind of like a hybrid of, you know, Katarina, um, Lucky Chloe, and Josie, so. Also interesting, she has like a, uh, almost like a, a, a carefree boxing idol stance. That's very weird, that's kind of weird looking. Yeah, because her, her storyline is like MMA, so. Okay, probably down four, uh, may, looking a little bit similar to like Josie FC down four four, although this is for sure performed out of full stand. So either, it's probably down back four because that doesn't look generic at all, so it's priced like that. Okay, side step three under the high, fishing for counter hit. Okay, interesting, the push away uh, post hit is different. So instead of the opponent being left like right next to you, the forward four has the really long slide away. Okay, good, good duck, uh, but looks a little bit too slow. Oh, that was a punish. Whoa, okay, what was that then? So wall stand one, is she in a stance though? Uh, sorry, let me try doing slow-mo, but it's not the best. We're, we're watching this on YouTube, of course. Okay. I'm not seeing anything yet. Okay, so she's back to normal stance. So that's just a, a wall stand one. Okay, weird. Okay, nice duck. Oh, interesting. She got the the back four one to the back, but canceled uh, into kissy kissy. Okay, power crush through four three. Okay, so we see four three here. So it's not like Josie four three. So it's not a counter at launcher, which makes sense because uh, even though this looks very similar to like Bruce back four four. Uh, this is more like uh, analogous with like Josie 403, but Josie 403 is also a counter launcher. Although nowadays in a season four world, uh, 403 plus four is superior because it's faster um, and doesn't do a float combo, does a, a like a crumple stun instead. So that's a change. Okay, wow, the, the hook kick right away. Interesting. Okay, so it looked like she canceled forward four in that position. Oh yeah, so yeah, look at that. So she canceled the the high option and and still performed the fo the follow up three, although it looks more like like almost like a Josie three four three there. So interesting, another Josie bleed over attack. Okay, so we see the uh, the cancel or, or interrupt there. Can't tell. Nice full walk. Okay, one plus two not causing uh, the knockdown. You see that no longer causing the state where you have to you know tech roll. It's it's a forced roll away, but presumably you can still recover in time. A okay, counter hit option. Did that use a spin? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, kind of hard to say if that if that gave spin or or not. The little flip animation because in this game there's like three different distinct like heat dash animations. It, you know the property might be similar. So, okay, okay, that that was a four four again, right? Oh, so oh yeah, duh, it's a high heat engager. I saw the heat engager and I freaked out. Okay, we see the four two one or whatever it may be. Okay, power crush through. Recognizing the Lily player wants to go for a mid. So that I think that pretty much guarantees it. 
uh, that Asusena cannot guard in leap stance. So I think that's safe to say now. Okay, too far for the 1 2 wall splat. Oh, stand 3. Interesting. So let's see how fast the stand 3 is. 1 2, misses it. Okay, good. The buffer is here, so I can go through this. So if this is 13 frames, RIP Josie. That'll guarantee it. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, Stand three on 13. RIP Josie. Oh yeah, so here, here we see a mechanic change. Um, heat burst now is a power crush. So that's something I noticed in the Fang Wei video. I was like, oh weird, that's weird that his, pow his uh, heat burst is a power crush. But no, this is a universal change. Every character's heat burst is a power crush. Is this a good change? Uh, probably not, but whatever. A okay, nice read on incoming. Oh, whoa, I thought that was a, the, a ray chart. Oh no, she heat purse back, okay. Okay, good interrupt, hit him with the right uh, hook. Got the counter at launch, so it looks very similar to Forbes 2 by itself. Okay, so like back 1-1 one, one with um, Katarina now causing spin looks like. Okay, hazard zone, running 3-2 ender. Oh, what was that? So was that... Was that Lieb Kissy Kissy Lieb? It was. Wow. Okay. Unless that wasn't uh, Kissy Kissy into Lieb. Maybe Kissy Kissy just back Lieb by itself. We don't have enough information yet, though. Okay, one, two. Oh, oh, interesting. Look at how the... The... Uh, what do you call it? The, the skulls are gone. So that means you probably can't hazard zone this area. So yeah, it's weird that skulls are gone here which is the, where the hazard zone occurred. So I think, to be honest, there's a different stage like that where it has like a, a breakable wall before the wall. It probably, I guess, is very similar, so. Okay, interrupt on the four, minus 10 probably. Unless it's minus 11, she wall stand forward, hard to say. Okay, big miss, stand four into Kissy Kissy. Nice sidestep. Oh, unfortunately, the Lily player sides up the wrong way. Okay, Kissy Kissy can't block BT. I mean, that makes sense. 4 2 3, BT 1 4 again. Should get the wall, goes for the uh, CD 1 4, causing uh, hazard zone again. Oh, then look at all the hits in the combo, way too much pushback. Which is a good thing, like, don't get me wrong, that's a very good thing. Oi, nice step. Beautiful. Okay, Asu Center versus Lily. Um, yeah, Lily is going to sidestep. <laughs> like I said, whoever is playing Lily uh, is very f uh, f uh, comfortable with the, the match. Or the character in general, so. But yeah, I don't, I don't know who's playing, but they, they, all these players have clearly played before. Okay, context here. This is the on, uh, sorry, the offline setup, um, which is called Arcade Quest, if I remember correctly. And um, basically, this is a human playing against the AI. And what this game does um, is it will learn how you play the game and build like an AI around you. Um, it's something similar that has been in the game before. Like for instance, in, in Tekken 5, uh, DR, they introduced this kind of system. Uh, this is probably like a later, later gen of it, such that it's maybe a little bit more like an actual AI. Uh, but it, whatever it is, it's something that was patented by Namco. That being said, Namco patented way more interesting stuff than this, specifically, uh, their AI with the ability to um, brute force the game to determine uh, like probably issues or uh, bugs and stuff like that. So that's the real juice of the AI is the brute force approach that it can take. It can tell you what you've done wrong by basically doing multiple iterations of itself in multiple situations. So I think that's the real juice. This, like I said, is just a, a nice version of the, the T5 tech that they introduced that was rolled over a T6. And to be honest, I, I think, like, from my experience, it was never introduced in Tekken Tag 2 and never introduced in T7. So while you see characters, like, you know, people's names, quote-unquote, um, I think those were, like, hand-programmed. Whereas, in my experience, the, the T5, T6 characters seem to do, like, more human things, which leads me to believe that maybe, like I said, that was a really, really old iteration. So this is just conjecture. But in my experience, that's what it is. But in T7, you'll see this 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 bot 
despite being really, really optimized in 23rd Dan, I think is Yaxa, it shows us. Oh, oh, key, oh, so it is a Yaksha, but it's they're now using the old Tekken 6 terminology of Kishin. But um, yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll point it out because this is something I did notice because uh, I was watching that, and that's what lead, led me to this video that you're watching right now. But yeah, the, the bot is very rough. Okay, no punish from our Paul player. Okay, we have this uh, almost like um, uh, Forest Law 1 plus 2. So this seems to be a new move that I don't believe was in Tekken, in Tekken 8. So this is new to CBT. So follow-up hit guaranteed. 4 for 3 Okay, running through pressure. Step kick. Wow, nice hop kick. Okay, a very light punish. Paul has significantly better combos than this. And it's actually very easy. That's actually one of the arguments against Tekken 8 right now is to be honest, it already seems like very fucking optimized. We'll see later with a Raven combo. Uh, it's incredibly optimized, and that might just stem from the fact that the game is kind of more hand-holding. Uh, but yeah, conversation for another time. Okay, no hit confirm on the 4-4-3. Duck Shab out. Like, the Duck Shab was spicy. That's that's another very human thing. Uh, the person hits the 4-4-3, panics that they missed to confirm, and just Duck Shabs out. Like, that... Is crazy. <laughs> like, that is crazy, but we'll see crazier in a little bit. Okay, pops the heat smash. You notice the damage looks to be a little bit nerfed from uh, TNT. Okay, wall stand for uh, 3 plus 4, causing instant spin. Uh, nice punisher, or nice kill. Interesting goes for uh, junkyard, which I don't think you can get uh, legend kick off of, so. Okay, good interrupt. Same thing, human timing. Trying to mash it at minus 8. Power crush through. Okay, four, four, three. Okay, you can see the the very much going for the same setup. <laughs> Again, that's another human thing. Okay, out. Miss confirm. Damn brutes. Yeah, heat smash, heat smash, man. I or sorry, heat burst, heat burst. It's crazy as shit. Oh, look at that. Three plus four, four. Nice kill. So much damage. Really helps that he's in rage. Okay, good interrupt. Again, light combo structure here from the, the Paul player. Death Fist. Wow, look at the pushback on the Death Fist. That's a, a Tekken 7 hitbox interaction glitch. Like, look at this. Huh? They didn't. They never fixed that in, in Tekken 8? Okay. Guard break. I don't know if the if it actually is plus 12 or a plus 12G now. It, it might be that uh, Paul requires to be in heat mode for this to be a proper guard break. But it looks, I mean, it has a distinct animation. You see when he hits it, uh, he hits the wall. You see that, uh, like, pushback right away. But who knows, maybe that's a heat, uh, or sorry, the wall smash, or wall smash? I can't think of the term. Mechanic or what, but I don't know. It's hard to say if that's a plus, a clean plus 12, or if he needs heat mode to actually guarantee it. Okay, so we see the shimmy input error, same thing. Human mistake here. Interrupt, back three. Okay, option, too many hits in the wall. Well, three plus four out, again, no fear. Big back three, luckily it doesn't get the wall splat. Also interesting how the bot went for this forward two, back two line or something. Stand two, forward two, okay. Power crush through, and look, he drops it. And he still goes for the parry though. <laughs> Uh, again, that, that's a little bit human. Here is the human round. Okay. Interesting read. Back turn out. Interrupted. A little combo adjustment. 3-1 shoulder looks to be uh, pretty consistent. I don't know if it's better uh, than 3-1 sway to or not, though. Oi. Oh, I got hit. And he's dead. Yeah, very risky, of course. The final hits of uh, Demo Man are launch punishable. But do, they do have good pushback, but with the ball there, it's not a thing. A running three. Power crush interrupt. Heat smash again. I like the heat smash there uh, because if, if the AI goes for, uh, again, he rebuts with a, a heat a burst, he will get clipped by the low. A big whiff. Oh, here we go. So there we go. I don't think I've ever seen a bot do this. And what the bot... I've never seen do before. 
So he gets the whiff, enters into FC. Now, granted, uh, if, if this was like a, a Tekken God, I would presume the bot would probably launch punish you. But he enters into FC, and then he shimmies the input. Like, he's, he's pumping the down, down forward input, basically representing the fact that he can go uh, for a, a slide mix-up. And that, like, taunt in his face is just enough to get the reaction out of the human player to get them the duck. Again, that's a, that's a very human thing to go for, especially when you consider in round one, he did it like a, an open field shimmy then fucked up the input, trying to get the input. So maybe that's an indication that the person who's, who has taught the AI has bad slide execution, or maybe the way I take it uh, is that it's the human idea of applying pressure by forcing a 50-50 between, am I gonna slide? Uh, or am I going to, uh, you know, go for the wall stand too? Okay, coming down to the wire. A oh, big miss. Okay, heat off the table. Interesting, the heat seemed to pop away immediately. Oh, so he blocked it. I don't, it's so hard to tell. Because when you're attacking and blocking, uh, your heat doesn't get lost. But weird. Paddle pump, nice step. Step option, you gotta duck it. Or sorry, that, that one's mid, isn't it? Okay, no punish. Okay, you can kind of make an argument there. Same thing. This is a, a very human moment where you panic and you don't get the punish and instead of try to apply the pressure. Now, granted, in context, a, a shimmy at that range doesn't make too much sense because of the whiff, but same thing. You can make the argue that, uh, you know, panic situation and you don't really have enough control to get stuff going. Oh, wow. Okay. Eliminator in Garyu. Or Garyu. I have no clue what that means. It looks like a dragon, though. Get ready for the next okay. Yeah, this is the one where it's like, you know what? Well, we should we should watch these live. <laughs> but yeah, we have uh, Raven versus Ga um, Kazuya. Sorry. I was going to say Ganryu after seeing that. Okay, four crash down for three. One jab out. In small stand three is kind of interesting idea from Kazuya. Okay, light punish. Yeah, what, what I've noticed with this guy here. Okay, so down back four. Interesting, it causes a, a very deliberate, like, knockdown animation. So uh, this is a natural hit. So it's not a counter hit because it probably still knocks down on counter hit. But it's, like, very obvious to the defender that, um, yeah, I, I got hit. It is no longer my turn. So I like little changes like that because it teaches beginners um, that it's not their turn or if they shouldn't mash here. Because uh, oftentimes, unless you, like, very clearly know... Like, you know, you have, like, a very clear, like, spin state where you're, like, minus 10. Um, but certain things, yeah, you might only be minus 1. And certain things, you might be minus uh, 7. And if you don't understand it, uh, there's a very big difference. Then you'll probably die to a uh, some sort of pressure option. Okay, nice step. Okay, we see the shadow 441. Nice stuck on the haze one. Big interrupt. Yeah, the uh, haze one um, is a very Tekken 7 style 50-50. Uh, Hayes one is a high anti side step tool very fast gets read by Kazuya, but he only does single hit TP Nice okay, stuck on high. Okay, there we go. We see again FC pressure is interesting because FC down forward three uh, Is launch punishable so like this is inherently risky, but it looks you know what that looks like it looks very similar to Hayes old Hayes three and in that sense same thing Hayes three would leave Raven um, in shadow or BT so it is interesting so I guess Maybe full crash down for oh I like how he's frowning. What the fuck? <laughs> so maybe down for or full crash down for three no longer uh is as punishable. Maybe it's only minus twelve or minus thirteen. I, I don't know for a fact. Okay, no duck on a high. Down was two pressure, taking the plus frames, go wall stand two. Charge down for three line. Okay, C D three still gets the full splat. That's crazy. Probably could have killed him. The okay, heat option. Well, okay, how much meter did that cost? Okay, so he did a heat burst, so by definition, he loses like th a third of his bar. That's why they added these little, uh, I don't really want to call them chevrons or not, but I'll call them a chevron. So enter into haze, and we see like plus frame. Takes the running 3-4, same thing, plus frame, and goes for shadow ba uh, shadow 1 plus 2, power crush, which is punishable. Kazuya player doesn't punish it. Okay, 2-4 no longer causes wall splat. Interesting, it causes... This looks like a wall crush mechanic instead. 
It cancels Buzzsaw and then clips him with the Shadow Forward for um, one, the new option, which keep in mind is the same, effectively the same move as like Shadow Forward 4 or 3, you know, being a, a low high mix up. But uh, ending, now he can transition into Haze and or the new stance, uh, whatever it may be caused. Called. Okay, back four opener. 443, interesting 443. New animation, no longer causes a knockdown. Causes like a ground bounce. Hey, okay, rude. Down 412, 3 1 CD3. Oh, into 1 plus 2. Okay, low, yeah, hit someone with the down laser, which costs a meter, which makes sense. You're using your, your devil power, so stuff like that costs. It okay, guards it. Goes for stomp, force 50 50 allowed. He reads F's, you know. Hard commit duck. It's clipped by the 4 for 3. And then down 4 1 2. It drops combo. Goes for a TGF. Interesting. A haze 2. Yeah, haze 2 is very fast. So QCF 1, haze 2, which is a heat engager. And evidently is safe on block because that causes your player like attack like immediately. Okay, we have quicksand. Now he hits him with haze 2 again. As mentioned, heat engager. So a heat engager, so he has full meter. Shadow 3 plus 4. Uh, doesn't actually seem to give you that high splat anymore. I mean, it doesn't look like it's costing you any hits, but uh, shame you don't get like the crazy splat because it looked it looked pretty cool. Okay, one two uh, four likely instead of one one four. So that means uh, that's interesting. So it, it presumably got rid of one one four and it's now one two four. I don't know if one two four would be NC, so maybe or NCC, so maybe it's no longer counter hit on the first hit. It's now just a flinch catch. Although by definition, like one one four would then mean or sorry, one two four means you can do one two three plus four to drop into haze. So it's like, okay, if I challenge haze, I lose to the four. And if I think they're gonna go into haze, or I, they're gonna go for the four, I'll respect it. So there's a natural mix up there too. So as much as I, I don't like it, uh yeah, that's a that's a pretty good change. Okay. Interesting. What what that look almost like a, a straight kick. But it was off of BT. Oh, weird. Like BT4? New animation? Okay, it goes for uh, presumably BT3 or BT4 or 3. Up 4, 4, 4. Yeah, presumably still minus 15. Back to 4 on Kazi hits on 14, so that's a punish. Wow, look at the 4, 4, 2. Nice step. Down 4, not enough to kill. Yeah, I like the, I like the ray chart there because down 4 is minus 2 on hit. So if, if uh, Raven mashes out, he will get clipped. Okay, wave who down four again. Yeah, down four is not any safer against... Wow. Okay, there's that there's that move we had seen that I had no clue what it is. It's almost like a backsway. And actually, look at the application too. It looks very much like a backsway. Into the uh, Kuma running one. Okay, cancel buzzsaw. It's clipped by four for three. Three one, down four one two. Yeah, same thing, three one going CD three. Oh, wall send 3 plus 4, now a heat engager. Running 3, doesn't opt for the 4, doesn't cost a meter. Notice how running 3 doesn't cost any heat, but if he was to do 3, 4, it would. Okay, and he challenges the running 3, where he looks like he performs. Uh, oh, oh run, run, just a BT3. So, yeah, that must mean it must be BT4, 3, or 4, 3 plus 4 for the uh, jump kick. Okay, Damak 1, 2. Option, hard commit, duck again. Oh, interesting. Once you have 442, is too slow. Oh, out of the air, yeah. Spends the rest of the meter, nice. He does Dembic 1 2 heat engagers, or heat dash in that position to extend the combo. And then after you heat dash, you can still do um, your uh, spin because it doesn't count as a spin. Give him the stomp, okay. He reads it this time. 443, once you have 443, Dembic 2 1 into uh, again is that is that haze three two or is that haze three new stance two but yeah look at look at the carry because yeah this is a big stage for for context there is a breakable wall that i don't remember them breaking the breakable walls like right here so we see yeah again wall stand one four three one four four three down back two one haze so down back two one three plus four presumably haze three two Spin option, back to four, and then special stance, a new stance too. Okay, so it probably is haze three, 
and then by definition it goes into the new special stance it too but look at look at the carry that's massive fucking stage a four or three solo poke doesn't want to apply the pressure he probably could have done it the select Kazuya would likely not max punish a big whiff doesn't kill him for it back one haze one plus two a one one four oh so or not one one four one two four but yeah look at that so one two four one one four used to be minus 14 and Kazuya down for two hits on 14. So I don't think this Kazuya was late. I think 124 is just not minus 14 anymore. Maybe it's minus 13 because the reversal he does, Shadow 4 to plus 2, it activates on frame 1. So I don't think that's uh, minus 14 anymore. Or the Kazuya is just a millisecond late because, like, look at the execution speed. He hits that shit right away. I don't think he fucked up. I think it's safer. Which would make sense if 114 is no longer, or sorry, if 124 is not NC. Maybe maybe it's like Shaheen with his 124 in a similar application. Maybe. Which makes sense because you know Shaheen was a hybrid of uh, Raven and Lee. So it makes sense. Yeah, 4-3, which is now actually an orbital. So that's a, a free orbital attempt too. That's pretty spicy. So if, if the Kazuya player would get up and get up wrong, actually get up at all, he'd probably die. Oh, look at that. So, Haze 3 plus 4 right under the incoming electric. And again, like, look at how fast the stance transition is. Wow. They got clip, big wall stand 2, easy kill. Give up the charge down for 3 line. Yeah, like, Raven looks really, really fast. Really fast. Uh, thank God the netcode is better. <laughs> Otherwise, this might be really painful. Okay, down 4-3 opener. Interesting. I presume that's still a counter at launcher. There was no special spark or homing on that. It looks a little bit slower, so maybe it's minus 10 now. Back to old properties. Back to, yeah, wall stand to you, no punish. FC down 4-3. Good read on the shadow 4-4-1. Four, four, they hit him with the spin. Gets a, a little, not the best splat, but not a bad splat. Okay, so Kazuya can perform the bear hug. Oh, it must be sides up 1 plus 2 from the animation. Big wall stand to interrupt. Four for three, double line. We're gonna see the same combo. Ace three special stance too. Ooh, okay. I, I like the heat first there. Hmm, interesting. The four one kept them close enough. Although, how many hits in that combo there was? It was pretty good, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, look at nine hits, and he's still able to do four one. Weird. So I wonder if it's going to be like every character has like one thing they should for sure go for post uh, heat burst. That's the preferred line. Okay, 4 or 3 plus 4. So, okay, so that means the jump kick isn't 4 or 3 plus 4 because he still has the input. So shadow 4 or 3 plus 4, flip over. Presumably he can still enter into doppelganger. Oh, wait a second. Shadow 1 plus 2 is a ground steel pedal? I hate that mechanic. Uh, yeah, so if you don't know, um, I that's what I call it. I, it doesn't have an official term yet. I mean, it probably does, but they haven't told us. But uh, there are attacks that cause steel pedal effects that are typically lows. In this case, uh, Shadow 1 plus 2 is a ground steel pedal, and that's a mid. Wow. That sucks. Okay, QCF1. Okay, so it looks like it goes for Haze 1. Uh, but that's the special Haze 1 because he's in heat mode. Maybe it's like Haze... No, it can't be Haze 1 plus 2. So maybe Haze 1 and because you're in heat, it automatically transitions? Only thing I think of. A white hole entrance. Oh, he's back churn, tries to mash out, gets clipped. Your wall saves. Uh, big rage art, and now it's a kill, yeah. Okay, is that it? Because I saw like uh, single player content after. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, that was uh, definitely informative. Uh, we get a, a better sense of what's going to happen in uh, Tekken 8. Uh, once again, between CNT and CBT, uh, there are changes going on. So, for instance, uh, I'll probably go over it, but like uh, reversals are supposedly weaker, which is good because reversals, to be honest, were a little bit too good uh, in CNT, uh, especially because you cannot, uh, what do you call it? You can't. Uh, chicken reversals. So the only way to beat reversals are lows, uh, elbows, 
headbutts, shoulders, and throws. So sh- throws were made to be the universal counter to reversals uh, because of, you know, you would get that. And actually, I haven't seen this yet at all. So interesting. I might as well fight. You know, screw it. Let's do the whole, let's do the whole kit caboodle, huh? Okay, so quick match, rank match. Makes sense. They look like you have, like, gotcha games to left. Rain game. Okay, group match, so probably tournaments, likely. Uh, for people who don't know, uh, the, the these lobbies are supposed to be like 16 players or something. They might be improved in the future, but for now, I think they're 16. Okay, we see more arcade-style games. Looks like a food court of some sort. Nina, oh, that's a T8 Nina, T8 Paul, so these are all Tekken 8. Hopefully, it's something kind of like um, Street Fighter where you can play older games. Maybe backwards compatibility, even if you have to pay for it in the future. Shout out Snamco. Okay, Iron Fist Outfitters, so clearly costumes. Selected items, weird. Also strange, the shoes are the show off. <laughs> it's like shoe, shoe, shoes, and then we got suits. Okay. Emo costume, gin costume. I mean, you, you, to be honest, you have all these assets. It's not a bad thing. Might as well populate it. Of course, when they first had shown off our arcade quest, um, it was very clear that it wasn't very clear. Sorry, uh, they had not confirmed that this would be available for online play. But as we see here, yeah, of course, arcade quest or at least um, the online version is similar to Tekken or sorry, to Street Fighter Six. So we do have something like that. So you build your own avatar, you pick your characters, so on and so forth. Okay, what's downstairs? Oh, outside, which is weird because they, oh, can you take pictures out here? Because we saw Paul on this beach set, although maybe that was for Tekken Ball. Oh, this must be the Tekken Ball location. Now, I wonder if you can circumvent um, these, like the need to go to, like the, the, you know, the Tekken Ball arena. Can you just like quick queue maybe? Otherwise, probably, right? Oh yeah, we had seen Paul here, so it must have been for Tekken Ball. Interesting you can hang out. A lot of places to sit. Although, like I said, 16 players max, so again, hopefully they improve it. It'd be nice to have like a really proper big lobby. That way you get the actual, you know, experience, arcade experience. Okay, and now, now what are they running into? Dojo area. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the dojo area is. They probably talk about it. Yeah, we see Zafina being the, the terror card reader. That's pretty cool. See uh uh vending machines. <laughs> Food, rice and run. I'm sure they have some like Easter eggs on the side too. Dojo area. So maybe this is like for to make your oh that says books. So maybe tutorials here? Secondary games? I don't know. Basketball. Oh, so it said Tekken Dojo on the wall, too. So, yeah, maybe this is, like, where you make your guild or something like that. And then, yeah, I wonder what the food areas do. It does look like it, we can go further in the background. Also, this is also very reminiscent of, you know, Fremont Street in Vegas. That's very clear. Now showing Premiere. Hmm. Although it looks like you can't walk down there. Maybe in the future, who knows? Okay, and there's emotes. That's cool. I can't hate him on having emotes. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think that will... Oh, we actually have a radar. I, I just noticed the radar. Interesting. Uh, Actually, that looks more than 16, though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so at least 19. Okay, yeah, that'll do it. Um, I will probably work on the like the Fang video now. Uh, but yeah, comments, questions, concerns, feel free to uh, post YouTube, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter. Uh, other than that, I will see you guys probably in the Fang video at all.